My name's Ben Hawley, and this is my story. I gave my life to Christ 27 years ago. I've been an imperfect, bumbling, stumbling follower of Christ ever since. I spent my summers growing up at Bible camp, went to Bible college, worked right here at Christ Community Church in the high school ministry, and my wife and I even led a journey group. My story doesn't contain any Saul to Paul conversion moments or thankfully any rescue from rock bottom salvation moments. I just love Jesus. And although my journey hasn't been perfect, I've tried to love Jesus for a long time. I was baptized as an infant. My parents raised me going to church and my dad even left his trade putting in floors to become a pastor when I was a teenager. I have God loving parents who believed that baptizing me as a baby was the right thing for me. For most of my life, I believed that my decision to give my life to Christ all those years ago retroactively honored the baptism I experienced as a baby. After studying the Bible more closely and feeling the prompt of the Holy Spirit, I've learned that Jesus calls us to be baptized after our commitment to follow Him. So for the last few years of life, it's been something on the back burner, a to-do near the bottom of lo a long list of to-dos and something I would get to eventually. I came close a few times, but never quite pulled the trigger. Honestly, out of embarrassment, I felt at not having done it yet. The funny thing about that mindset is that the embarrassment about waiting actually gets worse the longer you wait. My wife and I have three amazing boys. Marriage and parenthood has been sanctifying to say the least. God uses my family daily to show me his love for me, but also to show me areas I can become more like him. One area that God has been showing me recently has been obedience. Sometimes, as a parent, I just want my kids to listen to me and do what I say. They're great boys, but occasionally, as all kids do, I get a response like, I don't want to do that, or why do I have to do that? While I would love to say that I always have a really good reason for asking them to do things, sometimes I just want them to do what I ask because I asked them to do it. I just want them to obey. The Holy Spirit has convicted me that I'm giving the same response in regards to baptism. Why do I need to get baptized now? People already know I'm a Christian. I'm serving the kingdom. I don't want to. It's embarrassing I haven't done it yet. When I think about it from God's perspective, the same feeling arises when I hear myself give those responses. Because I asked you to do it. Isn't that enough? In John 14, 15, Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Well, there's no real way around that one. So here I am to be baptized 27 years late without a wild conversion story, but a humbled heart. And I love Jesus, so I'm just doing the best I can to keep his commandments. <laughs> All right. Well, this here's Ben Hawley, and uh, we're joined here on stage with his wife, Jess, who serves in City Care Counseling, and his three boys that I just have to say are all a chip off the old block, aren't they? <laughs> So uh, I love this guy. Ben's a dear friend. He's been a great servant at Christ Community Church for uh, a lot of years. Uh, we've served on committees together, and uh, I'm just really grateful for his life. Uh, I know of his genuine faith, and I know he lives that out in being a good husband and a good dad and a good representative of Jesus out in the marketplace. And it's just an honor to be able to have the opportunity to baptize Ben here today. Uh, you know, this is not a, boy, I wish I would have done it sooner baptism. This is a, hey, whenever you obey, obey Jesus, it's the right thing to do, baptism. Amen? So, so grateful for your obedience, Ben. So glad that you did that. I'm going to ask you a couple questions that I know the answer to, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Ben, have you chosen to follow Jesus and to trust in Jesus alone, in his death on the cross and his resurrection from the dead in order to forgive your sins and bring you new life? And is it your desire to follow Jesus all the days of your life, giving your life to him, sacrificing for him, raising these guys to know him, everything that you do in Jesus' name? Yes. Then based on your profession of faith, it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're buried with Christ. 